Hi friends, welcome to Interactive Medicine. Today I teach a new topic, the difference between cervical, thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. The structure of typical vertebrae. Let's we can start from the general features of typical vertebrae. The vertebral body directed towards the anterior portion. Here we can see that is towards the chest region. The spinous process is directed towards the posterior region. A typical vertebrae has seven process, two transverse process. Here we can see, and one spinous process, and two superior articular process. And here we can see two inferior articular process. In this image, we can see the superior portion. The pedicle is uh, connected by uh, the lamina and the vertebral body. The vertebral arch, uh, which is uh, present here, here we can see the vertebral arch also here, and it is present between the vertebral body and the transverse process, and between the spinous process and transverse process. Here we can see two vertebral arches. The first vertebral arch present between the vertebral body and transverse process, and the second vertebral arch is present between the transverse process and the spinous process. Here we can see the arch like colored structure, which is known as facet. Uh, the, in the facet present in the uh, vertebral body and the uh, transverse process is known as costal facet and uh, the superior articular process has its own facet known as superior articular facet and also we can see the facet for inferior articular process here we can see the costal, pro the costal facets are only seen in thoracic vertebrae because the ribs are attached to vertebrae in these portions. The comparison between the features of cervical, thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. The size of cervical is small, for thoracic is large and lumbar is the largest one. You can see here, the size is very small in cervical, for thoracic it is largest, sorry, is larger and lumbar is the largest uh, vertebrae for foramina the foramina the cervical has two uh, two transverse and one vertebral foramen and thoracic has one vertebral and lumbar also has one vertebral here we can see the two transverse foramen for cervical and here we can see the vertebral foramen and the thoracic and lumbar has only vertebral foramen. The spinous process of cervical is slender, often bifid, uh, from C2 to uh, C6. Uh, for thoracic, uh, it is long and fairly thick, and mostly is project inferiorly. For lumbar, it is short and blunt, project posteriorly rather than inferiorly. As we can see here, the spinous process is often bifid. Here we can see, and for thoracic, it is directed towards inferior. For lumbar, it is short and blunt, but it is in horizontal position, or it is more towards the posterior side. The transverse process of cervical is very small and thoracic is fairly large. For lumbar, it is large and blunt. You can see here, the transverse process is very small for cervical. And for thoracic, it is fairly large. And but it is uh, very large in, uh, very larger in lumbar. The articular facet for ribs. It is absent in both cervical and lumbar, but it is only for uh, only present in thoracic. 
the direction of superior articular facet for uh, cervical it is in posterior superior you can see here you can see this is in this direction posterior superior and the for thoracic the direction of superior articular facet is posterior lateral you can see here posterior lateral and for uh, for lumbar it is in towards the medial side the direction of superior articular facet in medial side you can see here towards the medial side the direction of inferior articular facet uh, for cervical it is in anterior inferior you can see here the direction is anterior that means it is towards the vertebral body or it is towards the anterior region the inferior the direction of inferior articular facet is in uh, anterior uh, anterior inferior position Uh, for thoracic it is in anterior medial medial we can see here the direction of inferior articular facet is in uh, anterior medial side the direction of inferior articular facet for lumbar is towards the lateral side see, here we can see very clearly the size of intervertebral disc that means the disc present between between that uh, the vertebrae the for the cervical it is thick relative to vertebral bodies and for thoracic it is thin relative to vertebral bodies for lumbar it is very massive okay friends i think uh, this video is uh, i think this video is uh, understand for you and if you like this video please make a thumbs up and please subscribe my channel and share to your friends bye have a nice day